So while we're on the topic of Chrome extensions and message passing and object-oriented programming, one of the things that I really wanted to do with a Chrome extension was have a config file. Um, I didn't want to hard code all my config stuff in, and I like to have a JSON file of configuration. Now you're not allowed to add an arbitrary configuration to your manifest, it'll yell at you. But let's create a new config file and talk about how to load that in. So if we load config.json, we can have um, Let's just copy our manifest structure and get rid of everything. Let's just say name, name, version, whatever. You know, just this could be ar completely arbitrary configuration, right? Um, so we have a config.json. So now what we can do is our background script. Let's um, let's make a function that knows how to read that configuration file. So we'll call it um, load config, which will know how to load it from the system. Um, so this function, what we have to do is actually use AJAX to go get the file and load it in. So to do AJAX without jQuery, we're going to do it straight up. So var xhr equals new xml http request. You probably never have to type this. Um, and then the way this works is xhr.on ready state change equals a function. And in that function, we'll say if xhr.ready state equals 4. Yeah, triple equals. Console.log. We got the file, which actually will be an xhr.response. Um, after we've defined our function, we actually have to say xhr.open a get request to our config, and the way we get a path to it is chrome.extension.getURL and then slash config.json. And then we want to say true because it's asynchronous. And now that we've told it to open the URL, now we can finally xhr.send. So this is how you do a raw AJAX request. And this is going to just call it. And when it's done, we're going to say we got the file, xhr.response. Um, and I'm also going to add this to my globals because I don't want my syntax highlighter to yell at me. So now that we've done that, let's, um, let's actually call load config on the init. So again, in our, this is our, if you watch the last tutorial if you didn't about setting this up object oriented wise, but this init function gets called when our app loads to, to the begin. So we're going to just load this config, uh, sorry, this.loadconfig as our first thing, which is just going to load it up, right? This is the first thing it's going to load. So we'll reload our Chrome extension, and here it says, we got the file, and there's our file, which looks great, fantastic. But it's not obviously, you can see it's just a string, so we actually have to say, json.parse and say we're going to parse it as json, so save and then refresh our extension and there you go. Now we have actually have our config file. But that's not the end of the story. We actually want to set it as a config object so we'll just say um, we'll just say background.config equals oops, equals that and we'll set it up in the beginning so config is an object Great. So now what we can do, because we have this, is uh, we actually can use it in our pop-up script now. So let's have our pop-up script. When this loads, let's actually have it, just like we sent a message here, let's actually send the message to go get our config from here so we can use it elsewhere. So we'll say get config, and we'll get a response back, and we'll say um, console.log, our version number is, and we'll just say... Um, response dot and actually what we'll do here is uh, is we'll actually load the config here as well so we can cache it for later um, so we'll actually we'll actually go ahead and just grab the whole config real quick and we'll just say um, uh, we'll just say app dot config equals response which will be the config file um, make sure I spell response correctly Cool. Okay, so this is so we actually have to call get config. We actually didn't make get config yet. So we're just real quick, let's make a small get config function, which as we saw from our last video, we're routing all of our messages with this syntax. So we can just say send response um, background.config. So get config will just send it back. Any file, a content file could do this too. And now we have our config loaded in. So any point later in the application uh, that we want, we can go ahead and, and use this. So we can say console.log 
um, our version is, and we could just say um, app.config.version, because that's loaded up in our config file. And so we can just reload this, and then when we open our pop-up, boom, our version is 1.0. And so now you can see how we're able to use a, a config.json file anywhere else in our application. And we actually can use this get config to load it up the first time, and now everything has access to our config. So really handy if you want to have a config file.